What's up, gang? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Moon. <laughs> um, today I got a collective message. Please remember this one resonate for everyone. So yeah, please don't force it to fit. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. <laughs> Use your discernment as always. And let's get into the message here, right? First two cards I got out here. We got the two of swords in reverse. So I feel like whoever you are, there's something you were indecisive about, okay, recently and where you were torn on what to decide, okay? Right now, it feels like you know you're in a very decisive energy or it's like you've made the decision and now you have to execute this Queen of Swords energy about the situation. So it feels like you're being called to be very assertive in a certain situation in your life. We've got observation and uh, anticipation out here. So, yeah, like I'm saying, look, the Queen of Swords is somebody who is very observant. And I feel like you're actually being called to be in that energy right now, um, to be more of an observer instead of acting too much or saying too much. Um, because there's a lot of anticipation in the air, right? Um, there's definitely something that you need to do. And that's as far as I know at this point. So we're going to see where this is going. Okay. So there's a situation here that you've felt like you've been binded to. Okay. The fact that I got the crow deck out and the devil on the bottom, motherfuckers. Like maybe somebody has been doing some kind of spell work to bind you to them. Okay. And just remember spell work. It doesn't have to be with the candles and, the, and all that stuff, right? It, it can just be somebody being very manipulative with their words or withholding information from you um, or s speaking certain information about you. I was hearing just before I started this reading like, like some kind of gossip going on. So that might resonate for some of you. But anyway, I just feel like the last thing you want at this, because of this situation, you don't want to be trapped in this situation, right? And I feel like you're very well aware that you need to speak up about something or put somebody in their motherfucking place is what I'm getting, okay? And I just feel like you're, you, it's like you're just realizing now that you can just unravel yourself from something that was causing so much upheaval for you, right? And that's the Eight of Swords in the shadow position. So this is telling me that some of you have been bound up in a situation energetically or physically and even emotionally, right? But mostly it feels like mentally you've been bound up in a situation. And it's like maybe for some time you felt like you couldn't get out of the situation or you couldn't get out of this binding, right? It's like somebody was trying to bind you to them. Oh, baby. I hate to break it to you again. Look, I'm only the messenger. And I ask, we need the most important message today, whatever they need to hear most. This is what, this just fell in the position of what you're not seeing with the seven of swords on the bottom. So someone is absolutely doing spell work on you. I was dead set on. I was, someone is doing magic manipulation and they think they're getting away with it. Oh, this person thinks they're getting away with it. So this is why you're being called to be very observant at this time. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going to keep that seven of swords there. This also could be someone who, whoever this person is doing the spell work, they could be a fire sign. Um, but I'm seeing this is someone who's actually got like really impulsive nature. I'm hearing OCD. So I don't know, like... If, if you know somebody that's like OCD and plays with spell work, they're telling me like, that's not the only person for the collective. Wow. Um, it could be somebody else as well. Let me just get some clarification on who, clarify who this person could be for the collective. For some of you, this could be an Aquarius, right? I'm telling you when I say, this is someone who has like, oh, there's some issues when it comes to boundaries with this person. They might be like on the spectrum, like just out of control. Like, 
it's also a very like sexually charged person okay this this i don't know what they're doing but like there's a lot of anticipation in the air right now i think somebody's ancestors are watching this go down because someone's coming in here to attack right someone's been attacking you now some of you may know about this some of you i feel like you know about it or you know who this person is and you just know that you do not want to be receiving whatever the fuck this person is trying to send your way so that's why you got to be in this queen of swords energy right it's like you have to have your shields up you have to have your swords up you can't be emotionally invested in this this is like this is like business you know this is like spiritual business not like a literal spiritual business but like this is like the spiritual court of law right you, you can't be even having your heart or emotions involved in this at this point because whoever this person is doing the magic they're very 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 sneaky okay <laughs> they're a big fat liar and this may be someone that you guys may have rejected um, or turned your back on or something like that or someone that's like in some kind of competition with you <sighs> this person could be envious of your love life your lover your your i'm hearing your talent for some reason i'm seeing a dancer like so some of you could be like dancers or you're in like some dance group and it's like what or in some kind of group and this person could be envying you and I'm the, so we've got firecracker out here so there is some type of excitement like this oh okay so so this person like i'm saying they're actually like sexually charged up like this person could be genuinely doing sex magic on you um but they're getting really excited about this spell work that they're sending you because they think they're getting away with it <laughs> oh my goodness that is a full-blown manipulative nut joke that has no boundaries like gang look at this this is coming up as what you're not seeing right now right seven of swords knight of wands the the boundaries in reverse and the magician in reverse like huh so you're observing someone's web of bullshit basically you're you're that's why there's a lot of anticipation in the air this person genuinely wants to shoot shots into your life they want to create obstacles in your life they do they for some of you this is someone that's so in love with you that they want to bind you to them so i know you could be feeling like a very extra pull on your heart specifically i'd say if someone's doing love magic you'd feel that at the back side of your vortex on your heart chakra like boom like sucking you you know what i mean oh this person thinks they're getting away with lying to you like if this is not actual spell work Somebody genuinely thinks that they're getting away with lying to you. Oh, somebody's answer. I can hear the drums rolling, man. Someone, you're about to get lucky. Yeah, you're about to catch a fishy. So you're being called to stay observant. <laughs> it's like literally the most evil laugh. All right, this could even be a false friend for some of you. Um we've got the dogs bro like that could be a sign like whoever these people are they could be dogs and what are dogs they're they're what's dog backwards he's god right a lot of people in this world they've fallen they've fallen from their true nature they've fallen from their grace and um just whoever this person is they're doing some really like you know how they said like that's a dog like this ba basically this person is really betraying you um this person is very stuck in the past if wow 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 um a little shocked i wasn't expecting this to come out but hey anything can happen we have got faith So you could have to have faith right now. Oh, I keep seeing the language of light as well, right? Some of, if some of you are light workers or you star seeds, make sure you're using the language of light at this time um, to help to bring in to help you see the truth. 
or something to help the truth be revealed or ask your angels to to show you who this person is because there's this, this person is trying to cause obstacles in your freaking journey like what the fuck you could be somebody who is very faithful or faith may be significant the name faith the letters faith whoo that's wild but it doesn't have to be right <clears throat> Okay, so this is what's coming that you don't see coming, which is a blessing in disguise. So I'm getting some of you may have to actually meet up with this person. Okay, there may be some kind of event that you're going to go to, right? Getting together with friends is coming up. Right? Fuck, man. I'd, I'd just say, whoever you are, you be careful what kind of gifts you're accepting from these so-called friends of yours. And not to, not to instill paranoia or fear in you guys, but... <clears throat> This person is not doing things right, right? And I'm also getting, they're not doing things by the book. They're not holding it together very well. This is someone who just loves to put themselves first and their own needs first all the time. No wonder you are in this Queen of Swords energy setting very firm boundaries. And you're going to have to be in that energy very soon because this person is not full up following the rules when it comes to whatever magic they're doing. So... If this is verbal manipulation, verbal word magic, they're not they're just not like speaking the truth, right? If this is actual magic, this person is not following the rules or like there's some type of structure or way that they're supposed to do it because I saw the devil, right? So this person's doing dark magic. Right? This, whoever this person is, they're doing dark energy work. And they're doing it against a very faithful person. Like I said, my ancestors watching me, baby. Can you feel the Kundalini rising? I can feel the energy. Did I not just say this person is selfish? <laughs> A selfish shellfish. Shit, somebody may like to rhyme. Okay, someone could be Pleiadian. This could be an ex-boyfriend doing magic, trying to get you back, right? ex-boyfriend wearing a mask Ooh, or some like masculine type of energy just wearing a mask like you guys take out how it resonates but whoever this person is um i feel like you're gonna have to encounter them or run into them at some point for some of you okay and this person may try to give you something just do not take it and i, I can instantly feel like this thing is like a cursed object right Oh my gosh. It's like a cursed object. And it's going to look like very valuable or they're going to make it out like it's a very valuable gift or something. This could be at like a party or a social event or a social gathering or a community event or something like that. Um, or a place where you're all like rehearsing or this is what I'm getting. Um, on top of that, I do feel like for most of you, yeah, you just need to know that <laughs> you need to know that your guides, your angels, your ancestors, they love you very much and they're watching they're watching over you, like they're watching you navigate through this. Um, and you're doing a very good job because for some of you, like I can feel like this person it's like they're intoxicating your heart space or something. Like I can feel this it trickling in, right? This person could be coming for your heart. They're doing magic on your heart. They're trying to manifest you to fall in love with them. Um, they're doing love magic, right? Love potions. Like, what in the fuck? <sighs> How'll I get here? I don't know. <laughs> but we've got the emperor out here. All right, so you're, this is a call to, at this event, like straight up, if some of you are going to some event, or you know you're going to run into this person or they're going to invite you out somewhere like i feel like someone's this this spell work oh fuck like it's going to unravel all right like people are going to talk people are going to talk at this event or this gathering you need to stay you need to be in the most intuitive energy when you get invited to this because whoever you are you may you already have an inkling about who this is you may feel like they've already tried to trap you in a situation right holy fuck bro like um this is like giving me this is making me jittery like what 
you are magical. They, they want you to know that. Right? That could be why this person's targeting you as well. They, they really like your magic. So when you get invited to this event or this like friend celebration, this get together with friends, you need to stay you need to stay mysterious, but you need to stay in control. You need to stay very in control of your intuition, of your how you're responding to things. You need to be in your like that's absolute self control. Emperor. Um you know, the emperor is someone who has a lot of experience, so you need to, in a way, you've probably been through a lot of experiences where, you know, people may have turned on you, like, or done some fuck shit behind your back, or, like, been very jealous of you because of your magic, right? So when, when you go to this event, um, you got to just be super observant, and this is why your ancestors, had there's so much anticipation in the air. This is why I hear the drums, because this is a very fake person. Um, for some of you, if this is like a, if this is someone at a distance from you doing magic on you, what do we need to know there, spirit? The devil, like that. That's a confirmation. They're absolutely doing magic on you. If if that confirms it for you, <laughs> they're absolutely fucking with their altar. They're absolutely doing dark magic. I can feel it and it's because this person wants your heart or their heart is hurt or they want revenge or something. Shit. This, yeah, it's someone very single and they feel like they had to compete against many options to be in your energy or something like that and they want your heart. So they're trying to manifest you. They also could know that you're a very lucky person. They're trying to manifest you to come back to them. Your blinders are not on, though. This is in reverse. So you, you're you a very intuitive person. The Queen of Swords is highly intuitive. So it's interesting. We got like the um, balsamic moon there, and then it turns into the full moon. And usually on the full moon, the intuition is highly increased. So that's what I'm saying. Like there's something that's about to come to a head here, right? And you are going to have to be in absolute detachment, absolute self-control mode. And yes, use your psychic abilities, use your intuition, use your magic. But I'm hearing be, be mysterious. Right? Don't say much. Use your past experiences to back you in this moment because you, some of you, like something is about to be exposed about someone that's been lying to you, somebody that's been doing spell work on you. Right? For some of you, this could be because they feel like you rejected them and, and you fumbled them or some shit. Like, what? Anyway, this is the most important message Spirit wanted you guys to know today. This person's doing, some of you, they're doing magic under the moon. Isn't that interesting? So they just pointed the moon out, right? Broken inner child, this person is hurting. So you've triggered their abandonment wounds or something. Uh, this person is doing some the most powerful magic that they possibly can or they're paying the most powerful practitioners that they possibly can to get you to stay in contact with them to get you to text them oh it's making me itchy they're working with some freaking oh god i don't want to even get into it damn they, they are trying to manifest a phone call from you but for others, like, there's a few warnings here for you guys, collective. Oh, my goodness. Psychic, okay? I do feel like some of you are psychic. I get that. I get that very strongly. So, you are going to be celebrating at the end of this, though. You know, and I do see this is something that's going to go down in the next month. But you may have some kind of, like, you know, stressful night or, or a stressful situation. Once you find out, once you find this out, right? You know, for some of you, this could be your, even your own family member, like that's been. <sighs> doing spell work, like this gossiping behind your back. <sighs> okay, so I'm getting like, if you, you're gonna be celebrated for this, right? But I feel like for some of you, this person wants you stressed about your abundance in your life. Like that's what they're trying to to do in some way. Like maybe they're trying to shift your perception like, 
like they're trying to like this magic is like they want you to feel like you're not enough or you're not good enough or you don't deserve love or you don't deserve abundance and wealth and prosperity like someone's up to some real fuck shit like why are they doing this spirit like i'm saying for some of you like this person wants a relationship with you and it's something to do with a group right this could be a group of people <laughs> i'll tell you what I don't know what's going down here, but this group of people, they've been studying you. Oh, they've been studying you. And you, one of these people could be a very evil, sinister woman. Right? This person lied to you. They could have lied to you about their spell work. My toe is itching. Um, like something's pulling on it. So they don't want you to know this, okay? That they're trying to manifest you. Right, this person's like laughing, like they're, they're actually excited because some of you may have contacted this person recently and they're like, oh my God, like it worked. What children? Anyway, divine light is out here, divine light, organic light. So whatever magic they can conjure up, if you are a part of my collective, I can guarantee that you guys are protected by this divine organic light. Okay, this is, beyond any magic that anyone can conjure up on earth right this is magic like extraterrestrial magic that these people may not understand that is around you these witches these warlocks don't understand is around you so they may not even feel like um you, you, some of you may have already seen like who this person is Right? All these motherfuckers, there's some kind of competition going on. Some of you may have had a dream of who this person is, but they played it off like, oh, like it wasn't them or something. Ten of Pentacles is out here again. This person wants your abundance. They could be very jealous of your relationship, of your soulmate. Are they up to some fucking fraud, man? They're up to some fraudulent shit, gang. Look, I'm about to leave it there. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I love you so much, gang. Peace to the Cosmic Tribe.